What's up everybody, today we're going to be doing an oil change in this 2005 CBR 600RR. So let's get right into it. Alright, so the first thing we need to do is take off these fairings. You can do that with a set of Allen keys. Uh, that should get most of them off. You may need a uh, flathead screwdriver for a couple of them. For the most part, they're all Allen keys and it's not too hard. But before we do that, you might as well go ahead and get all the equipment ready to go. So grab yourself an oil pan and get that dirty oil out with. And uh, your oil that we're going to be using, today we'll all be using, is the Rotella T6 by Shell. This is a 5 weight 40. Uh, you're supposed to use 10 weight 40 in the CBRs, but this Rotella is known to be really good with uh, Hondas. So you can go ahead and get this for like 20 bucks a gallon, just a much cheaper alternative. And I've been running it in this bike and no problems. Just a heads up though, Rotella came out with a new mixture. So this is what the old one used to look like, the old bottle. Uh, they changed a couple of the chemicals for 2017 based off new regulations in California. So this is what the new bottle looks like, same price. It's still rated for uh, wet clutches, so you should be good to go. Also for the oil filter I'll be using is the K&N. Uh, part number is KN204. So if you're gonna use K&N, just look that one up, about 10 bucks. Also, you're gonna need some wrenches, get the oil bolt off and filter off and we should be good to go. All right, so now that we have our lower fairings off and our upper right fairing off, we can access our oil filter, which is right back in there. And also we can access the drain pan. Just unscrew that nut right in there and the oil will come flowing out. Now a tip you can do is uh, when you're taking off the oil filter, go ahead and place tin foil on your headers because uh, you don't want to get oil all over them. It'll just make it a lot easier for cleanup. So place tin foil all over the headers as best you can. And also you can start your bike up to warm the oil up, make it easier to drain out. Some don't do it, some do it, but I'm going to go ahead and start mine up and get the oil warmed up. Alright, at this point you can throw your gloves on because we're going to start draining some oil. Throw your pan under, grab a 12 millimeter wrench, start unscrewing. Also to let more oil out of the drain pan, unscrew your oil cap up here to release some pressure and it'll get more oil out faster. Alright, so a little tip when you're unscrewing the bolt is to put the pan out a little bit in front because the oil sometimes shoots out a little farther than you think. So. Go ahead and turn and screw it. Once you get it loose, you can go ahead and start doing it by hand and be ready to catch it because we'll start coming out. This is just really thick there we oil. Go. And then just let it drain till it starts dripping. So one thing that I like to do once you get it down to a drip is to actually start the bike for just a quick second and that will cycle some oil that's left over in those chambers and get it out, but just do it for a quick second. So you know that? cause a little bit more oil to start coming out. Just a little quick turn on and turn off. That might help you guys out. All right, now when it comes to the oil filter, you're gonna wanna place tin foil around your headers just to make things a lot easier. And you literally just wrap the tin foil all the way around the header. Make sure the bike's cool, obviously. I'm gonna burn your hand. But, and then you can grab a 17 millimeter wrench and you can go ahead and move the oil filter. Now if you don't have a K&N oil filter, you're gonna have to have like an adapter to get your oil filter off. You can find those pretty easy though. And you can let that sit right there for now. 
because to get that oil filter out, you actually have to squeeze it past your liquid coolant reservoir. So just leave, let the oil drain for now. You can leave it hanging out right there and then we'll uh, wrench it out of there. Now when we're wrenching this out, you're actually gonna bend some of the reservoir. It's gonna kind of push in a little bit. Don't worry about that. It's the, really the only way to get this out. There we go. So it just takes a little bit of, a little bit of working. All right. So now we can prep our new oil filter. So go ahead and take it out of the box. Cut this plastic off. Now one thing to note before you put this on is to grab a little bit of the old oil or new oil, whatever you prefer. This is just to lube this ring up so that it does not uh, dry out and crack. Uh, they all they do put a little bit of oil on here, but it's just good practice to uh, put some more on there. And then you're ready to screw it on. All right, now to get this back in, you're gonna have to do the same thing when you've got it out. You're gonna have to be kind of forceful and push it through the reservoir. It's usually easier pushing it back in. And start screwing it back on. Just get it hand tight, and when you take your wrench to screw it on, don't make it super tight so you don't want the uh, ring to crack. All right, now the next thing we need to do is to put the drain bolt back on. So once it's come down to really slow drip, you can pretty much assume that most of the oil is out. So we'll wipe down a little bit of the oil off the paper towel, and we'll put the bolt back on. Now you can replace your drain bolt washer. Some people do, some people don't. Um, I usually don't just because I'm too cheap, but you can do it for the peace of mind. If you think your bolts or your washers go out. Now same with this one, you don't want to tighten it too tight, but you want it um, tight enough that it's not gonna vibrate loose. All right, I think that's tight enough. Now we start pouring the oil back into the bike. And since we got one gallon of Rotella T6, there's four quarts in a gallon. Now you just read the back on here and take this down to one. But if you bought your oil in the quart bottles, then you just pour about three in there. It says to do 3.1, but you'll be safe with three quarts. Uh, so once you pour three in there, turn the bike on and look at the oil level and see where it's at. Grab yourself a funnel, make sure it's clean, and set up the port. Now that we have all of our oil poured in, I put about three quarts in there. I'll level it off, see where we're at. I'm gonna have to add a little bit more, but at least we know we're safe. Just don't wanna put too much oil in, because then you're running into trouble. Kind of wipe oil out of here and screw your cap back on. All right, so that was a basic rundown. I had to change the oil on your CBR 600RR. Next thing to do would be to throw your fairings back on and make sure all your bolts are tight and then you're ready to ride. Hope that helped you guys out if you're looking to change your oil. Make sure you do this about every 3,000 miles on a CBR 600 and uh, you'll be golden. Hope you guys liked the video. If you did, please feel free to like the video or drop a comment down below and I'll get back to you. Until next time guys, make sure you're riding safe.